my channel. My name is Mary with Mary Making Crafts and I am really excited today to be bringing you my very first Diamond Art Club sneak peek kit. So I'm going to be showing you around this canvas here today and I cannot wait to share this with you and thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this to me. Um, I I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in because I am so excited. So this kit is by none other than Randall Spangler, who is just so happens to be one of my favorite artists. But this kit here is It Tastes Better When We Share. So this is a special Valentine's Day release here for uh, January of 2022. This kit will be releasing um, midweek on a Wednesday, on Wednesday, January 18th at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time. So, you definitely wanna take a look there at this artwork. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Okay, so this one is a square diamonds, uh, meaning that the drills are square in shape. And let's go ahead and get right into this. Hang on just a second, I'm gonna cut this plastic off here for me. Okay, now that we have the plastic off there, let's go ahead and take a look inside our box and look and see what we got. So we have a toolkit, always the first thing that we pull out of our box. We have a small sticker. You can use the sticker for whatever you like. You can use it as a logbook sticker. Um, I tend to put mine on the tops of my boxes so that I can see uh, what they are when I store them. So what you do with this is completely up to you. We also have the Diamond Art Club canvas in the dust cover bag. Beautiful. So first things first, I always like to take a look at what is inside my toolkit. So each toolkit is uh, going to have your everything you need to diamond paint for the very first time if you've never diamond painted before. So. First up, we have a bag of baggies. This is, uh, you can use this to kit up your painting uh, or you can use it to store your leftover drills when you're all set. Because this is a square kit, you also have a pair of Diamond Art Club tweezers and uh, you can use those when a drill gets misplaced or whatever you like. Some people actually place with tweezers, which I have, I cannot do, I'm not talented that way. <laughs> so we'll start here with this tray. We also have um, a stopper on this tray and this will help you keep your drills in here when you want them to stay in um, and be able to pour out when you want them to pour out. But this is for aligning up your drills. We also have, just dump this right out. We also have a pen here and a little grip. So this pen and this grippy are uh, grippy. <laughs> this pen and squishy grip, whatever you wanna call it, um, this will be used to place your diamonds on your canvas along with this wax. So, peel this off here. You have two plates of Diamond Art Club wax. There is a little plastic on this wax, so you wanna make sure you peel that off there and you just dip your pen in your wax and pick up those drills. Anyway, so I will move on here. We also have a cover minder and some washi tape along with some multi-placers. This one is a four placer and a seven placer. They're nice and thin. They do a great job at uh, picking up multiple drills at a time. We also have some cute little flowered washi tape here. Now washi tape can be used uh, on the outside edges of your painting uh, just to keep the fuzz and gunk out of the extra glue on the sides of your canvas, but uh, you can also use it to section off your painting. So uh, if you have any questions about how to use uh, washi tape, you can click this link right up here and it'll take you to a video showing you exactly how to use this. And then we also have a little cover minder and this is cute. It's a little, looks like a little puppy dog and a little peach. And you have two magnets here on the back of that cover minder. What you do is you take one of those off, slide it underneath your canvas. You can pick up your plastic on the top of your canvas, roll it back, and this will hold it right in place for you. So there you have all the contents of the toolkit. I'm gonna get this cleaned up and we're gonna look at that canvas. 
Okay, let's take a look inside our dust cover bag. Inside here is going to be some information along with your drills and your canvas. I used to usually like to pull those out first. We'll take a look at those. So first up, you have a little pamphlet here that just uh, tells you thank you for your purchase. And there's uh, instructions on how to diamond paint here as well. Uh, if you have not joined the VIP Facebook group, that's a really fun place to go and see what people in the community are up to. A video with step-by-step -step instructions and a code for your next purchase along with some QR codes to the app. If you have never purchased on the app before, you get 20% off your first purchase. So either iPhone or Android. And um, another thing I always like to suggest is to make sure if you have not joined the Diamond Art Club Rewards Program, they have a really, really generous rewards program. So definitely take advantage of that if you can, um, because you get quite a bit of money back on your purchases. So then we also have our sticker sheet here. Now this has individual stickers for kitting up so you can label all of your drills in their containers. This particular kit has 51 colors. So here's a look at that sticker sheet. We also have all of the information here, a larger image of the artwork. You can log your start and end date. I like to use these for my logbook. And then, of course, down here, we have our size information as well. This one will be 55.8 centimeters by 42.8 centimeters, or 22 inches by 17 inches. And taking a look over here at the drills, we also have four drills, uh, four numbers here that are under the number 150, um, meaning that they are Aurora Borealis gems or AB drills. So these just have kind of an extra special sparkly coating on them and it is oh so pretty. So we'll take a look at those when we take a look at the drills here in just a minute. But there you have all 51 of the colors and symbols. And we also have a bag here with our drills and this is labeled here with the painting uh, name on it so if you want to store your canvas and drills separately you can absolutely do that so here is our package of drills I will go ahead and go through each individual drill and you are welcome to skip that part when the time comes I will make sure I put timestamps in there for you so you can forward on ahead but before we do any of that, how about we take a look at the canvas? Let's do that first. Y'all ready? Are we ready? So one really nice thing I just like to point out about Diamond Art Club's canvas, we have a really beautiful tarpaulin canvas with a nice smooth velvety back on it. When you lay this out, it will lay nice and smooth. Um, you really don't have to do a whole heck of a lot to flatten it, but I'm just kind of bending these edges backwards here really quickly. Just a note, we also have our legend here on the right and on the top left. So top left and bottom right of the canvas. Also down here, we have our licensing information. What that means is Diamond Art Club. We have that little copyright right here next to Randall Spangler's name, meaning that he is the artist who, uh, copy wrote this image and Diamond Art Club is fairly compensating him for the use of his artwork in this painting. A nice close up here of that canvas, beautifully printed symbols, so clear and amazing. Diamond Art Club really is the gold standard in quality. But let's take a look. Oh my goodness, are they cute. It really is better when we share, isn't it? I can't, this is too, too stinking cute. I absolutely adore Randall Spangler and his artwork. He is just a wonderful human being and creates some really beautiful artwork. So when I found out that this was going to be the first kit I got to sneak peek, I was really, really excited and so, so honored because I just hope I can do this justice for y'all. Um, they are so, so sweet. I want to go ahead and take a look here at the drills. Again, if you want to skip this part, I will go ahead and put a timestamp in there so you can just 
skip on by the drills. And of course, as always, I will definitely show you where the ABs go on this canvas. But again, we just have a nice close up look at that canvas. This one is super, super cute. So in just a second, let's go ahead and get into the drills. Okay, starting us off with our first strand here, we have 301, 310 on black, 3826, 976, 550, 154. 315, two bags of 3834, 3371, two bags of that as well, and our bright red 666. We have 400. 3835, 470, 3802, 936, 977, 114. And here is our first AB color. So you can see that iridescent coating there on the tops of the gems. This one is a red AB. I have a feeling it's going to be in the heart back there, you know, on that stained glass. Looks like a stained glass window behind them. And a 935. With some of our smaller bags of drills starting us off here we have another ab 135 a bright green 158 937 210 3827 333 3839, here is our third AB, a really pretty light blue, 101, 152, 718, 3861, and 3722. A little tiny one before our last strand, 791, 3746, and 934. And now our last strand, 815, 3607. 907, 155, 3608, 898, 336, 947, 106. Here is our fourth and final AB, pretty cream color, and 165. So now that we've gone through the drills, I'm going to go ahead and pull out all four of the ABs and we'll take a look at where they go on our canvas. Okay, so here we have all of our AB drills uh, in order of the symbols on the canvas. We have, of course, number one, two, three, and four. Now, two and four go together here, this cream color and the green. So I'm going to pull those out and we'll take a look at where those go first. Um, so the cream and then the green layer down below it are going to actually make up all of the accents here on our dragons. So right here on their faces, kind of where the light is hitting their face. And then even down here in the arm and the top of the leg here, these uh, and back as well, just kind of outline that and show us where the light hits on their faces and uh, the rest of their bodies. So I think that's really cute. It kind of almost, um, like I always kind of picture where ABs go are usually where the light tends to hit. And I feel like this one is no exception that uh, these drills are placed to almost make it look romantic, kind of like a candlelight, you know, Valentine's Day cookie. I love it. Anyway, so our dragons are all emphasized by the cream and the green. And then from there, my prediction was right when we were going through drills that this red, I like to just kind of place them on the canvas where they are, but basically this red makes up pretty much the entire center of that heart there, like the stained glass window behind them. And then the blues, I actually see in a couple different places. I see it down here, uh, right here where my, my finger is, and then up at the very top right at the top of the frame there, um, that blue on the top and bottom of this stained glass window. But then it also emphasizes uh, some of the, the gleam in the dragon's eyes. So on both sides here and over here. So there you have it. There is the placement for the ABs. 
I absolutely adore this kit. It is so, so cute. I love that it is a manageable size as well. Again, this one's only 55 centimeters by 42 centimeters. Um, looks like you've got um, a hefty bit of confetti within our dragons and in these like brick walls back here, but it looks like lots of color blocking in the stained glass window. So, um, you know, you kind of get a nice mix mix of things there um but mostly i would say this one's more on the confetti heavy side probably um but it's not you know going to be as confetti heavy as landscape for example anyway um that just about wraps it up for this kit um i would love to know if you plan on picking this one up i this is one that I would definitely have added to my stash if I didn't get it as a sneak peek because it is super cute and I love it so, so much. I am so excited to uh, sneak peek kits for you here moving forward and I am just, I'm thrilled. I'm so excited. Anyway, what else can I say? Um, no, thank you so much for joining me here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below. Um, I am also a Diamond Art Club affiliate. If you've never purchased from Diamond Art Club before, I do get a small commission if you uh, purchase through the link that is down below in the description. And again, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I really hope you have a really great day whenever you're watching this and come back soon. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.